Right, so we're on an adventure of discovery into Alibaba's meat section. It's pretty and exciting. It turns out it's amazing, absolutely amazing. Should we have a look at some stuff? Yeah, yeah. But Dave, why don't you why don't you start with camel meat? Can you see the camel meat section? Camel meat section. Uh, yeah. Yeah, camel meat. Okay, here we go. Yeah, click on the camel meat. See, what? have a look. It's amazing. Frozen camel tendons. That's lovely. Brilliant. Frozen camel tendons. That's what we want. How, How much are the camel tendons? Right, well, uh, oh man, they're three and a half dollars a ton. That's quite a lot. Three and a half dollars a ton? Three and a half thousand dollars. <laughs> three and a half thousand dollars a ton? <laughs> yes, yeah. Wow, that's that's quite a lot. But they can that's, only supply one... That. Wait, but only, only one 40-foot container per year. Really? Limit. Yeah. I wonder how many tendons you get from a camel then. They're quite big things, aren't they? I guess so. I wonder how many tons you get per 40 foot container. I, wonder, I was thought you were going to say how, ma how many tons of tendons you got from one camel. Hey, if you go back to the camel meat page, there's some other good stuff here as well. Right, right. Look, if you go down a bit, can you see the processed camel feet? Processed camel feet? Where is that? Uh... Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Yeah, have a click on them. They're, they're gorgeous, aren't they? But if you look, this is this one. Oh, look, three and a half thousand dollars a ton. Everything's three and a half thousand dollars a ton that's, when you're talking about bits of bits of dead camel. It's just the standard rate for camel parts. It is, but look, if you look right, yeah. the, the cost. It, it's, it's per forty foot container. They can. It's three and a half thousand dollars for one forty foot container. But given that they're feet, does that mean it's a container of forty feet? <laughs> <laughs> 40 feet or does it does that not mean <laughs> one he... container with 40 feet in it wait so so i'm confused now so does that mean each foot weighs a 40th of a ton i guess it must yeah fascinating isn't it fascinating hang on there's something about the sahara in there what was that sahara maintenance services company limited saudi arabia they're the people who do it right they'll give you they've been running diversified business that's not what the camels are doing they're not running anymore not anymore <laughs> <laughs> no, they've got them. They've got them up on skateboards or just up on bricks or something. <laughs> <laughs> Camels were up on bricks, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> add the feet, add the feet off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. One container for six months is their supplyability. Well, okay. They must chop the feet off quite a lot of camels. But dude, look. It, 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 this journey of discovery isn't over yet. If you go back to the the camel meat, yeah, section, yeah, yeah, go down a bit. Can you see the hump, the hump fat, hump fat, right. camel hump fat and camel tallow? Oh, there we go. There it is. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You got him. Yeah, isn't that brilliant? Give him a give him a click. Camel. That's hump a fat. that's a it's a camel hump. Wow. No price on the camel hump, but that's what's inside its hump. That delicious big lump of grey fat with a bit of blood on it. That is delicious. It looks incredible, doesn't it? But no, no, no uh, price. Can you just buy them just a hump? You know? I don't know. Do you reckon it's the same ones they've taken the feet off? They take the hump, <laughs> off as take well. the hump and the feet, and, and also yeah. the tendons. Oh yeah, the tendons. Yeah. Hey, so I've I've been thinking about promotional tunes for these things when we start our our restaurant. Right. Yeah. And the advert the advert for this. Yeah. We should sing. We should sing this song. We should go. My humps, my humps, my tasty camel bumps. Yes, you're right. We should do that. Yeah, that's the song for that one. They look, they look lovely, don't they? Oh my God, look! They don't come from Arabia. They come from Australia. They come from uh, South Australia. Huh. Well, that's huh. Interesting. How about that? Well, how about that? Eh? Lovely, how about tasty that? Australian camel humps. Delicious Aussie. Camel humps. Maybe they remove the hump fat as part of a sort of live production procedure, and then. Do you think? Yeah, and then the camels get to walk around for a bit without a massive hump on their back, and then it regrows. He's got the hump, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that man there, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he probably hasn't got the hump. He's probably a very happy man, given that he's got the best job in the world. <laughs> 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 yeah, slicing up camel humps. Yeah. So no price. I'm disappointed. There's no price on those. What does this get latest price button do? I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried to click it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to have another quick look at these oh, tendons. Yeah. What, what do you reckon you do with the camel tendons? Can you use them to replace your own tendons? You know what I think I'm going to do with the camel tendons in our restaurant. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to serve pasta dishes, but instead of pasta, 
Mm. I'll use tendons, camel tendons. That makes sense. So yeah, so a classic a classic meal at our restaurant would be a kind of pasta style dish made of camel feet with tendons. Right. Dribbled over it. Yeah. And then afterward, a uh, camel hump for pudding. Well, that sounds delicious, doesn't it? Lovely, delicious. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Would you sweeten? Have the you got any ice cream? That? People will say. I will say we sort of got ice cream. <laughs> it's a bit like ice cream. What? <laughs> Yeah. What flavour have you got? Camel. <laughs> <laughs> Only camel. Only camel. <laughs> Only camel. <laughs> if, if you go back to the meat and poultry section, yeah, I, there's there's more amazing things in here as well. Oh man, type ostrich. There's loads of stuff. Can you get ostrich next? Style alive. What? Sorry? Style alive. Oh, here we go. Style, style alive, yeah. Ostrich chicks. Oh my god! <laughs> How much are ostrich chicks? You can buy ostrich chicks. Where did you find ostrich chicks? Uh, go to ostrich meat. Is that in? Oh my god! Look, forty dollars for. Holy crap! Oh, ten ostrich eggs. God, fertilized ostrich eggs. That's like the the worst nightmare horror film on breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> You have to buy like ten thousand of them a week. That's quite a lot to get through. It doesn't give you. It's oh, really. I, I was just looking at the ostrich. Oh, is that the normal ostrich eggs? Oh, okay. I was looking is at it? There. Are you looking at the wrong bit? What's looking, the minimum order? Are we talking about fertilized ostrich eggs now? I was, I was now? looking at the fertilized ones. Yeah. Right. I was looking at not necessarily fertilized ones, non-specific ones, okay, but there's no right. price on them. But they can send us fifty a month. Let's have a look at the fertilized ostrich eggs. Look at that. My God, that's a picture of an ostrich coming out of an egg. <laughs> it totally is. Oh my God, look at that. That's what they send you. It doesn't look very happy. Gigantic about it. eggs. With no. Ostr with ostriches in them. Oh. oh my God, look. If you look at the pictures, there's several other photos. You can see what they do. They, they've, got, they've got a forklift truck and they're loading them into the back of a wagon. Wait, where's the forklift truck? Bags and stuff. Look look at the pictures. Is Click that, on it. Is that in fertilizer? And then there's five. Oh, yeah. This look. is incredible. Oh, my God. Look at and that. They, and look, and they come in these boxes all strapped up, like, really tight. And then when you open them, you get this. You get this ostrich chick coming out of an egg. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Supplyability, 10,000 pieces a week. So. $30. Is that 50 for $30? That can't be right. Greater than or equal to 50 for $30. That's what it looks like. It and really to, does, doesn't it? Up to 10000 a week. Oh my God, we need to get some of these. Yeah. They're not really suitable for food in that state, are they? People will just freak out. What? I mean, like, they'll be loving the delicious camel tendons yeah, but, and, then, and the hump fat. I, just, I, think, I think it'll just be and a then, socially awkward thing. No one knows how to eat a live ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. Wow. You can buy the chicks. I mean, obviously you can buy the chicks. Yeah. This is fantastic, isn't it? Well, this is this is where you go if you want to raise an army of ostriches. It is, isn't it? You know you know what you should do? If you go into the product search bar, yeah? Yeah. And you type in pig rectum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Try that. Oh, look at, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Have a look at that. Well, that's, that's amazing. Pork, pork bungs, pig inverted rectum, pork rectum natural. Yeah, that's, that's the one. That's the one, isn't it? Hey, yeah, hey, if you look over to the right in the little windows and right, have you got one that says pig large intestine clean pork rectum? Oh, I, I would want a clean one, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'm going to click that because I, I want the clean one. Oh, look at them. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. Oh, my God. Uh, $320 a metric ton, so they're 10 times cheaper than camel tendons. And 10 times more delicious. <laughs> 10 times more attractive to look at. You've got to buy 25 metric, metric tons. tons. Yeah, that's quite a lot. So I, think, I think we need 25 tons of pork rectums, clean ones. Yeah. 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 How do you like your it. pork rectums, darling? Oh, clean. <laughs> clean. I like them clean. clean oh, right, okay, yes, I've got the clean ones here, yes. Yeah. <laughs> clean and inverted. The other ones are inverted. 
<laughs> oh no, these ones are inverted. It says down in the oh, summary yeah. thing at the why, bottom. Why are they inverted? Yeah. Do you reckon? Inverted rectums. Why can you? Well, you know, only a moron would have his. You know, if you want to munch down on some delicious pork rectums... Is it just the extraction there, process two... inverts them? But they sort of, <laughs> they sort of <laughs> yank them out. Yeah, again, do you think they do this while the pigs are just sitting there, kind of, <laughs> you know, getting on with pigging about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they keep them busy with the turnip at one end, and then <laughs> sweep in when they're not looking. Jesus. Well, oh I mean, God. that's that's amazing. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. So, I mean, obviously, I'm not entirely sure how we work this into our menu, but I'm guessing it's it's the rectums with uh, with the camel tendon pasta, right? Yeah. And the feet. I mean, you could stuff a foot into a rectum, maybe. It's not clear what the relative sizes are. Well, could you, could you, you make some camel... kind of ravioli substitute by stuffing the feet inside the, the rectum? Yeah. I mean, that'd be nice, right? Yeah. Hey, I've made another discovery. Okay. You know, in your search bar, Yeah. try, try typing pork uterus. <laughs> Are you just typing in... Have you got anything? Oh, Jesus Christ, pork, look at pork that. Pork uterus. I've got pork u uterus uteri. Oh, my God, look at this one. It's all, like, nicely arranged, like a medical technique. Yeah, and, and have you seen the price? One dollar for a metric ton. One dollar for a ton of uteri. That cannot be right. It's, I mean, you'd be mad not to buy them for a dollar <laughs> a ton, right? Absolutely. Wow. We need to get ourselves a ton of uteri. We really do. Man. I've got a song for this one as well. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's in the style of Joy Division. Okay. It's, uh, it, it's in, I love, love uterus, it's pork of a pig. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the song for that one. That is the song. I mean, we're going to have to yeah. advertise this, right? Because... Yeah. Because there are some small-minded some small people out there who might not necessarily, off the street, walk into a restaurant selling pig uteruses. You, you think? Well, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I do think so, yeah. I, I think people are going to love this, you know. We've got humps, we've got, got everything. Literally everything you could need. I think... I think There's something else I want you to have a look for. Oh, is that? Okay. Right. If you go, if you go into the search bar, yeah. type um, beef penis. <clears throat> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those are Look, these, aren't they? these big, um, big things of beef, beef, beef penis. Samaria yummy. I bet they are yummy. Oh, they're not cheap, though, are they? Samaria. No, they're not, are they? Uh, hang on, I haven't got a price in this one. Which one's it? Let me have another look. I've got $500. $500? $500. Yeah. For a 40 foot container, is that? Oh, my God. Go down to frozen beef pizzle. <laughs> frozen, frozen beef pizzle. Pizzle. Is that b b bull pizzle frozen? Bull penis? Frozen beef. Frozen. Pizzle penis Poland, it says. <laughs> frozen. But these are. These best are like, quality frozen beef pizzle. These are like six and a half thousand dollars a ton. Really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, you could buy two tons of camel tendons for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, or, frozen beef. Or six and a half thousand oh, tons of uterus. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you could buy like enough uteri to the Royal Albert Hall. <laughs> and then what a glorious wonderland it would be. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's our what's our menu now? It's going to be, I mean, you clearly you've got to get these bulls, penises, and you, you, you're going to want to make something with the cow, with the pig's rectums, right? Well, you're going to have to have pig's rectum stuffed with bull's penis, right? I mean, that's... You've that, got to have pen penis and rectum that's together. Just that's a classic cooking, isn't it? It is classic. And with the camel hump, I don't know, is that the is that the dessert and the, the camel tendons as the as the kind of You don't want to mix you don't want to mix your meats within a course, do you? You wanna keep them reasonably similar. I think. Or you're gonna go for the sort of you know, pigeon stuffed inside a turkey stuffed inside a ostrich kind of idea. Right. Bull whip. That's not a bull, bull whip. whip. It's not a bull whip. So um oh, Oh, these, got, these ones have got a, a little ruler so you can see how big they are. That's handy. Oh, right. Yeah. Is that centimetres? Uh, I'd say I'd say about how, six, how? 65 centimetres long, these bull's penises. 65 centimetres? Right, yeah, okay. about that. Well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> you can buy a whole donkey carcass. Do we want any donkey carcasses? Just, just, just a dead donkey. Has it been butchered at all? <laughs> 
Is it just a dead donkey? I'm not sure. Did you see the butchery instructions on the bull's penises were to leave the tip on? <laughs> leave the tip see on? That? <laughs> no, I did not <laughs> see that. Leave, leave tip on. You've got to leave yeah. the tip. It's the best bit. Oh, yeah. You've got to. You can get pork aorta. Oh, brilliant. I love an aorta, me. How much is the aorta? Uh, super cheap. One to two dollars per ton. Brilliant. So it's all about the aortas and the uterus. Do you know what? Given the choice between a uterus and an aorta. Yeah. I think I would take the aorta. Would you? Would you really? Wouldn't you? I, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd find it a difficult choice. Right. Uh, why aorta? Aorta. Eat the aorta. Aorta. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm. You know what I'm getting at there, right? Why aorta? Yeah, I, I, I get it. Why aorta? Yeah, all that kind of thing. Oh, there's a lovely picture here of a whole load of aortas. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. I should look up the aortas. I'm, I'm, let me look up the aortas. Aorta. Indian buffalo aorta. What? Did you know you could get an Indian buffalo aorta? Indian buffalo... Oh, I can type buffalo aorta. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? There it is. It's good. Indian buffalo aorta is 2,700 US dollars. What for twenty eight of them? I guess per ton, right? It, it says for it says is that, <laughs> is that twenty eight aortas, buffalo aortas, or twenty eight tons of aortas? Supply five hundred metric tons per month is the max supply. Right, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah, I hadn't really thought of buying buffalo aortas. Do you know what? I genuinely never thought of buying camel tendons or buffalo aortas. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you seem slightly more surprised about this revelation than I am. <laughs> oh look, frozen buffalo tongue. Frozen buffalo tongue. Frozen tongue. Frozen buffalo tails. Oh, look at that. Ooh. You can buy buffalo hock tendons. You can buy lots of bits of buffalo. Let's put buffalo and see what we get. Ah. You get a lot of stuff that isn't me if you do that without specifying. All right, buffalo meat. A massum, that's got to be some kind of... Is that... Is that like yeah, I'm going to Google... What's yeah, a massum? I'm going to Google or massum. Or massum. Let's have a look. It looks, like, it looks like kind of fibrous, lungy kind of thing. From the oh, look, it's, it's the muscular third stomach of a ruminant am uh, animal. Right, right. Between the reticulum and the abomassum. So it's a bit of a stomach... Well, I, this has been good, hasn't it? It has been good. I think. I, I think. I feel like I've learned. Yeah, I, yeah. I think. I feel like I have as well. So, what are we going to order? I think maybe. Do you know what? I think as a Valentine's present. I know it's the wrong time of year for it now. Hmm. Actually, no. Probably birthday comforts. But I think my beautiful wife would probably appreciate twenty-eight tons of. I. I don't know which one. The tendons. Well, I mean, it depends how much you want to spend, really. Because if you want to go cheap, the uh, um, the uteri are. Both yeah. cheap and romantic. What else? Oh, aortas are, are only a, aorta is a bit of the heart, right? Yeah, so that's, that's great that's for Valentine's. Good. Twenty-eight tons of aortas. Oh, aorta isn't the thing. Can you get any other aorta? Aortos? Oh my god! What? Try pork snouts. Pork snouts. <laughs> Try typing that in. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Look at them! Aren't they great? Look at this. <laughs> this is fantastic. Everyone knows the snout is the best bit of a pig. Yeah. There's, there's quite big, there are several tons or the minimum orders, but. I don't know, like one pallet, that's not very much. These would make good snacks. Six, they would, snout, snout snacks. Got them snout. Pork snouts, frozen pig snouts, $100 a ton. Oh, look, this one's $1 to $2 a metric ton. Are they inferior snouts? They must be because someone else is asking for a hundred dollars for a ton. Oh my gosh! There's a there's a quite an interesting picture here of the box of snouts. Box. Um, mm, is that the one that's yeah? If you four hundred dollars, if you look, if, if you look at the one that's one to two dollars, frozen pork snouts, one to two dollars. Uh, yeah, yeah. I click on that one, and it's the five snouts. The picture of five snouts. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. But then. If you look at the third picture in, oh, wow. in that, yeah, it's, it's a look down into a box of snouts. That that looks like a lovely box of snouts, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, that that's about as romantic as you can get, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. I think. It, I, mean, I think if anyone opened up a box on Valentine's Day and found that, they'd be they'd be won over. 
instantly. The, you, yeah, that's it. I think we can advise anyone, can't we? Yeah. We should we should set up a company doing mystery Valentine's Day boxes. <laughs> you know, like those mystery boxes you yeah, can get we that contain lots of like like fun nerdy things. But instead, ours will just have snouts. <laughs> Our business will be very successful for a very short amount of time. I think you're right. Hey, if you try a pig head, okay. there's some quite lovely looking stuff there as well. There's frozen half pig head. Okay. Ooh. It's got a nice picture of halved pig heads. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, look, you can buy the throat from these guys. Frozen pork tail, Brazil origin, tongue, throat, snout, skin, head. See that? I'd like some pork throats, please. Lovely pig throat. So I've just I'm still looking at pork heads. Yeah. Uh, if you go down about two thirds of the way down a page. Oh, sorry, I've moved on to pork uh, throats, and it was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen pork throat. Christ, eight hundred to twelve hundred dollars a metric ton. Oh, that's that's really. They are not appetising. I'm still. I'm still. Um, stuck on the heads there's a lovely picture here okay well i'll come back to the throats yeah sorry well, i'll go back to sorry which which picture are we looking at so uh there's a few right uh so if you go down quite a quite a way um yeah one just called pork hole head and it's interesting because the picture appears to not be quite accurate pork head oh there we go pork <laughs> hole head but it's three feet it's three feet yeah that's not right still on them it's not right, is it? They've got that wrong. It, what's happened here? Oh my god, have you seen just slightly further down the frozen pork head? Three heads. Oh, yeah, in yeah, a box. That, that's the thought I was going to say to you. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, th it? that is wonderful. Again, this is real Valentine's Day stuff. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, you can buy those nice, lovely ears. Some lovely ears, yeah. And the feet. Can you still, yeah. can you still buy pigs' ears in pet shops? Is that a thing that still happens? Uh, yeah, you can, you can certainly buy I don't know about pet shops, but you can certainly buy them on the market, yeah. All oh, right, okay. So, can go, go up to the search bar and try try pork throat in. You've, you've really sold this one to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's... Aren't they amazing? Huh. Lovely pork throats. Do you want know, all the outside bit? That's all awful. It's quite meta eating that, getting that down your throat. Get that down your throat. <laughs> yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah. It's recursive. Yeah. Well, do, do you feel like we're reaching the end of our odyssey here, or do you I think, think there's think more maybe, to be discovered? I, I just think I'm, I'm getting really hungry. I, I need to go and find, <laughs> yeah. find some snouts. I'm just going just gonna to go back to the, the um, pork rectums for, for a moment. Oh, there we go. There's a nice clean one. Oh, God, Jesus, the clean pork rectum. <laughs> Christ, <laughs> Christ on a bike. So, what's your favourite? Because I, I think I think we've got pork rectum, uh, pork uterus. I think is is quite high up there. Yeah, the classic bull's penis. Yes. Oh no, I've gone back to um, live ostriches. I'm a big fan, a big fan of the camel hump as well. Oh, the live ostriches are amazing. Yeah, I don't think I can choose. I think I think if I was going to make a meal out of all these in the restaurant, I'd just put them all into a massive vat and boil them for ten hours. What about the tendons? Everything. Everything goes in. All goes in the vat. Live ostriches, the whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> you could serve it on live ostriches. You could have the live ostriches <laughs> carry them. Served on a bed of... Carry the food. Served, served briefly on a bed of live ostriches. Served by ostriches, with ostriches, on ostriches. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, you could train some of the ostriches to be waiters. Do you think we're do you think we're at the end of our little odyssey for today then? I think so, yeah. What do you, what yeah. Do you think we should look at next? I don't know what we should look at next. Oh god, I don't know. Uh, but I think I think we've learned a lot today. I think we've learned a lot of important things. Yeah. You I've, say? I've learned slightly more than I wanted to. Great. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> Mongolian frozen horse meat? The Mongolian frozen horse is, is an awesome animal. Yeah. You want the Mongolian frozen horse, don't you? Yeah, really. <laughs> it's my favourite of all the horses. <laughs> oh wait, back out on the uh, the meat and poultry page. One of the categories is low crab. Low crab. <laughs> yeah, I presume that means with, <laughs> with few crabs in it. So, oh right, not a crab that's really low to the ground then. No, it's just low crab. Excellent. Okay, well let's sign off. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> bye, Dave. Bye. Bye. Bye.